Hello everybody, my name is Swicey and welcome to my channel. Recently, I have pulled probably my most wanted champion over the past five, almost six years, and that is Rotos the Lost Groom. Um, and I'm going to be making a video today on if he's really changed my account in the way that I hoped he would. Um, is he better than the rest of my nukers? Does he fare well compared to them? Um, just generally, what has he done to change my account? It, considering he really has been my most wanted consistently throughout the entire time I've played the game. Um, it's been about, I believe, two weeks since I pulled him. and So I've had the time to go ahead. I pulled a soul for him. I got him booked. I got him mastered. I got him built. As you can see, his build is very, very solid um, overall really really solid build uh, so first let's just go ahead and take a look at his skills and then i'll go further from there so his a1 has a 75 percent chance of placing a decreased defense uh, for two turns well attacks one enemy one time um, also has a 25 percent chance of granting an extra turn damage based on attack and hp um, you can get 20 percent damage from books and then you have the Vitality Plunder on a two-turn cooldown when fully booked. Attacks one enemy, destroys the target's max HP by 20%, then adds that HP to this champion's own max HP. Um, cannot destroy a single champion's max HP by more than 60% in one battle. Cannot increase this champion's max HP by more than 60,000. Destroys the max HP of bosses by 30% of the damage inflicted instead. The champion's max HP will be increased by 15% when this skill is used against the boss. Again, based on attack and HP, books up to 30% more damage. And then we have Faded Destruction on a 3 turn cooldown when booked. You can book up to 40% damage, so his books are very, very important for him to actually put out damage. Um, attacks one enemy will ignore 60% of the target's defense, will also ignore unkillable and block damage buffs. Enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived if this champion has gained maximum amount of HP from the Vitality Plunder skill, grants an extra turn if the skill kills an enemy. And then his passive, um, Spurn Oblivion, will decrease... Increase damage from enemy hits so that incoming damage from any single skill will not exceed 50% of this champion's max HP and grants an extra turn if this does occur. Um, does not work against bosses and then decreases the damage taken from bosses by 15%. Decreases the damage taken from bosses by 30% if Siffy the Lost Bride is on the same team. I do not have Siffy, so I don't have the best form of Rotos you could have. But I still have a very, very strong Rotus, as you can see. Um, and then these are the Masteries I went with. These are more of him soloing the enemy team style of Masteries. And you could even argue that going for Spirit Haste is a better option than grabbing Retribution. I think that's a very fair argument, but I don't want to reset. I'm saving all my gems and energy for the upcoming event. Um, yeah. But this side is exactly what I do every time. I would never change these. I really do think these are the best. The only thing I think you could change is change Methodical to either Blood Shield or Double Counter Attack or something. Um, and then the build itself, I have them in Instinct, Righteous, and then 2-piece Merciless with 1 Reaction Piece. He's at 46.8k HP, 5 point almost 9k attack, 298 speed, 100% crit rate, and then 288 crit damage. Uh, very, very strong. And then I forgot to mention the soul. So the blessing that I have is a two-star Ward of the Fallen. Um, this gives you bone armor, makes it to where you can't get one shot even by a double hitter sometimes. So we're going to take him into Classic Arena, maybe a little tag, and then for sure we'll do some live. Um, so just to see kind of what he can do, we'll take him into um, Classic Arena. We'll say that one of the main things that counters him is Siegfried, and then obviously UDK is probably his biggest counter. Yep, I mean, he definitely is his biggest counter alongside Harima. Now with the new set that's coming out, Ramatu will be coming back into the meta, I guarantee it. So pairing Rotos plus Ramatsu is very, very strong, as you can see in this team that I've been running. 
so in here usually uh, harima would be by far his biggest problem we're just going to go ahead and do that we're going to block their passives we go ahead and kill brogni kill wukong um an ally attack will probably kill lydia very fast this team was not strong at all and even through her passive we go ahead and kill her um what's another strong team here well, it's not a bad player power this one definitely counters rotos 100 percent um, this team is a very strong team but with ramantu and armands it should be fine so we're gonna go ahead and sheep the pytheon i just i don't want to deal with him Go ahead, lock out her, their passives, so we kill him, try to steal some HP from UDK. We're not going to ally attack, I don't really care to. See if we can stun, we did not. There we go, got all those out. Now we're going to try to get rid of Pytheon. Took him out, no problem. Now let's see if we can just get rid of Harima. 149k got rid of udk another 92k hit i mean this team is extremely strong now in a situation where we're going to be in live arena as we will be very soon you won't be able to guarantee yourself your amatu plus your rotos and all these extra things um, but if we do go to a oh, let's try to find oh kane okay actually i know this guy that's kind of funny. Uh, let's go ahead and fight him. So we'll take... I don't know how fast this fastest team is. We'll just take my fastest team into there. We'll take... Um, we'll just go like this. Kane Crom. That's funny. I haven't seen his name in a long time. He's in... He's either in my old clan, or I know he's in my old cluster. I believe I've done a takeover for him, or I just saw him a lot of times. He's cool. His account is pretty pretty solid. Alright. Obviously, Narcissus does Narcissus things. Um. Alright. Xena does Xena stuff. I mean, none of this is surprising. And then this one, we are decently faster. Not really worried about the Armands. Now we lock out their passives and actives, and we take them all down. Rodos is just so insane uh, for taking down teams by himself. He it really just... He doesn't find any problems in taking down most teams. Now, I did fight him. I don't think that these were the best teams. I just knew him, so I figured, why not? Um, let's just head on over to live. I mean, any team that I fight in Classic or 3v3, considering I'm not high gold right now in 3v3, I could be. I just haven't been uh, as proactive as I should be in 3v3. Let's see who we get matched up against. So, obviously, there's the chance that they steal my Rodos, or I just don't end up picking Rodos. So, we'll do quite a few fights. Um, probably three or four. Just to get a decent feel for how strong he is. Uh, this person is a little bit lower than I am, but really, that doesn't matter. <laughs> I found it doesn't matter where people are placed at all. Um should take the arena sign off of allele i was trying to build but he hits worse than dicey does so there's no point in using him ever if you can't hit as hard if not harder than a uh, than an epic i see no point in you being a void lego hopefully he gets buffed um, i was gonna do a video on him until i saw how bad his damage was after so many after so much testing and so many different types of builds his passive is insane but it just doesn't his damage is horrendous um, marius i do want to get him he's pretty insane for arena and they took my rotos of course 
Okay. That's so sad. Alright, yeah, we'll try to get through this one as quick as possible. I knew I should have picked Rotos instead of Arbiter. And they just picked Arbiter last, because they had already picked... Uh, they had, I mean, I guess Marius is a nuker. I don't even know. I just know he's good at buff stripping. Not buff... What is it that he... I'm, I'm confused at why he's so good, honestly. I know I kind of remember his kit, but I don't remember it enough. I'll go read it after uh, this fight. Or after this video more. Alright, let's try to guarantee ourselves the... Uh, okay, yeah, bone armor. What a blessing. Patty is gone. I wonder... Yeah, I wonder how hard this is going to hit. Oh, wow. Actually, really decent damage, even though it's a max HP hit. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. So whenever he, you revive, he does his A1. It's a fairly cool champion. Yes, we're missing a good bit of HP right now. We're not going to hit very hard. Unless they put out shields, which obviously... I was going to say, which obviously they won't. I don't think we'll catch up to them. Uh, we could have won, but Rodos will take everybody out here. I guess it's still a Rodos showcase, just not on the right side. <laughs> Rodos counters Narcy's pretty hard. Um, despite Narcy's ignoring passives, if Rodos gets a turn, steals your HP, it's pretty much over from there. Even after they put out those shields, they couldn't really do much. This fight will try not to... I mean, he'll probably take Narcy's and, and Korra. He did not. Okay. This is a situation where I want to grab Arbiter. And, yeah, I'm going to take both of them. Hopefully, Rodos is still here. He has a very, very high pick rate in Live Arena. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's picked. Okay, he's not picked, which means, yeah, we're definitely going Rodos, and then, I think Foley, he's my next fastest nuker. I imagine they ban Rodos in this situation, actually. I don't know, I don't know how to make them not want to ban him. Yeah, we'll see what they do. I imagine they ban Rotos, but maybe the, the four-star soul plus one Foley is a bit scarier. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. Right now, I think I ban Wukong to get rid of the speed lead. Okay, actually, this is a bit scarier than I thought. Um, Alaz is a problem for this team. We're going to ban Alaz. Okay, actually, they leave the Rotos. They ban the Armands, which I understand. Um, I guess I just don't always ban Armands. I don't think he's always the scariest option. Yeah, that speed lead is the only thing that really made me want to ban that Wukong. So I guess it's a speed race at this point. Um, really want to try to get rid of her. Oh, no, that's awful. Ooh, 
Okay. Yeah. Rotos could solo here, but it, I mean, he could just A1 Rotos. Oh, I would have AoE'd and then A1 Rotos. Okay. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, see if we get an extra turn. Oh, never mind. We're fast enough. Let's go. Rotos is just better. I think I would have AoE'd then A1 Rotos to win that. I don't know why he. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Just trying to think of what he could have done better there. Yep, Armand's first pick. We take those two. I mean, it, it's just the exact same thing almost every single fight. And then at this point, I'll take Padraig and Rotos to not risk them taking him, I suppose. Because they'll probably pick UDK once I pick Rotos. I can only assume that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I think it'll be another nuker in UDK. But in this situation, I ban Armand's pick Romantu. Um, yeah, as long as they get enough buffs... Oh, okay. So... They went a little bit off the course I was hoping. I don't have anybody all that fast outside of my Padraig and Arbiter. This is a little sketch. All right. Well, let's see how this goes. I do have a pretty strong Kaimar build. I've done a video on it before. Oh, okay. Well, they uh, their build was just stronger. I got nothing to say. Yeah, I mean, really, there's not much we can do unless we got a bunch of extra turns there. Um, try to get a reset, I guess. Jeez, this is a bad situation. Okay, I have no accuracy on him. I don't know how I won that. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, almost. All right, all right. Come on, let's let me get around. Rotos, reset, just to let her get some more turn meter back. Mm, okay, Alas gets a turn and wins. Dang it, that was so close. Laz hits very, very strong. He's a super strong nuker. And with him being defense based and being force affinity, uh, he's pretty he's pretty strong into Rotos. Okay. Um, that's weird. I wanna I would love a fight where there was no Armands, and with him not first picking Armands, I kinda hope he doesn't have him. And in that case, I just won't pick him. Yeah, okay. And, I mean, Narcis is the obvious pick here, but just to make this a fun fight, I won't pick Narcis or um, Armands. Actually, I'll probably pick Armands just so that he bans him, so I can kind of use whoever I want. In this situation, I think... Hmm. I want a buff stripper. Yeah, I'll go Uko. Or I'll... Who do I pick that they'll just guarantee... Yeah, they'll guarantee ban Armands. And at least I assume so. 
Um, yeah, let's make it. Let's make it a fun fight. Get rid of UDK. He gets rid of Armands. Hopefully, if he bans Rotos, that's boring, because then it's just a stall fight, and eventually I'll win because I take a million turns. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Love to see it. I know that it goes bad into um, more too. Just to put it out there. But like I said, I was hoping for a fun fight, not a not making like meta decisions fight. All right. Let's get rid of. Wukong here. Let's do that. See if we can get a buff strip. That would be pretty cool. Alright. I'll take one. One is better than none for sure. Uh, let's get rid of Wukong again. Yeah. I mean, we'd probably get block revived by Ramatu now. I meant by Mortu, not Ramatu. Oh, that's no good. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we just barely didn't one-shot. That's so sad. We might lose now. Ooh. Yeah. We probably get block revived here. Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, can't act like I won that. That's for sure a loss. But hey, no no, no bullcrap champions in there. I'm, I'm fine with that loss. There was, there was nothing. But I'll play this one like normal. Obviously, I could have won that last fight if I just went with King, Queen, Narcisse, Armands. But got to show some respect to the people who don't have those broken champions. Yeah, I know. This person gets zero respect. This is awful. Okay, so in this situation, I ban the Seek Friend, hope I'm faster. We could go for a Tormund, even though she pretty hard counters Tormund. Um, yeah, it's fine. Could even go with DDK. No. I go with Tormund, I'll ban the Siegfriend. Hopefully they don't have okay, Gizmax actually kind of scary. Let's go with the HP lead to see if we can win this. Yeah, Gizmax and Stoneskin is one of the scariest nukers in the game, in my opinion. He can smack. And with Intercept being something that uh being something that every champion can have soon. That's really scary. Okay, we got locked up by Crixia. Oh man, Crixia being faster than Arbiter is kind of weird, is it not? All right, um, gotta hope for an extra turn. Extra turn. Steal his HP. Got him down to one HP. Sorry, that's happened multiple times now. Alright, so no reviver. This isn't the best situation to be in. We didn't even get a reset there. We locked him out though. Yeah, not not that many wins in this video. It was more just to show the strength, but kinda wish I would have won some more here. And he just resets and we'll probably do one more. Yeah, that's a loss. Hate to see it, man. That's five. See if we can win this last one, because I do have to leave somewhat soon. I hate that I've lost so many and trying to show that Rotos has changed my account. He really has, and I have screenshots of a, a whole lot of wins back-to-back -back with Rotos, but... Hey, some days, some, some days and some time, I swear, every, there's like one time each day that's just loaded compared to the rest.
All right, come on, show me one more fight, man. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll just take him into... We'll, we'll just do like one or two more classic if we can find some really, really strong teams. Yeah, this one's strong. We'll probably get sheeped, actually, with uh, Romantu into this one. Yep. All right. So let's steal his max HP. Let's ally. Oh, wait. Why would I ally attack into him? I always forget that's part of his passive. What? Dang, I thought I would have put him on cooldown a bit more than I did. All right. Let's knock him out. Let's. Um, they're both going to. Just steal more of his max HP, I guess. Put Sifi on cooldown. We got sheeped again. Yeah, I can't wait for intercept to be a set. Holy. All right, and I think now at this point we should be block reviving with Rodos. He has a lot of HP. Yep, block revived. And then we one shot her. It's a very strong account. Yeah, 25 million. Um, yeah, we'll do one more live and call it there, guys. I hate hate that we lost four out of five that sucks let's end on a win i don't want to have to redo this video <laughs> that would really suck the q times can be something else in gold three Well, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here, guys. Um, but yeah, we're not seeming to find a fight. I have to leave soon. Um, I do think I got to showcase Rodos' strengths, um, some of his weaknesses. You know, overall, he has done a whole lot for my account. Um, I do believe I could go and find the screenshots real quick. Give me one second. All right, here's the screenshot, guys. Um... This was a decent set here of, of wins with Rodos. Um, yeah, picked in all of these, lost against this one down here, but some really solid fights. Rodos being one of the main components of all of these fights. Uh, yeah. So I know I didn't get to showcase the best Rodos gameplay today. I, uh, I do think I need to get a video out, and I figured why not? make Rodos the uh, the main the main show of the video so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video if you did enjoy seeing me get demolished in live arena uh, please do hit the like button consider subscribing um, oh my gosh we can't all right we, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a different fight here um, you're seeing me lose here as well <laughs> yeah again if you guys would like to see any more of this i will be trying to put out some more uh, different styles of videos maybe some more champion showcases i just rotos has been one of my most wanted for this long and i figured i might as well put something out about me pulling him he's an amazing champion and i am so so happy to have him um yeah and although i didn't get the best gameplay in live arena i still had fun with this video sometimes not seeing all the wins and seeing some of the losses can be a good thing 
um, most people making these videos doing similar stuff um, they aren't winning all their fights they probably have failed plenty of times while trying to record the video that they're doing um, and it and climbing in Librina takes a lot of fights and a lot of losses unless you are a kraken uh, but anyways thank you all for watching i'll see you on the next one peace out guys